Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. Uh, this is lesson five, rational and irrational numbers. We're gonna talk about what makes something rational and what makes a number irrational, and then give a bunch of examples of each type. Uh, let's hop right in. So, rational numbers first. Rational numbers are numbers that uh, are specific and have an end. So just like, I'm gonna call them regular numbers, for example, which would be things like the number one, or the number 200, or even integers like minus five. All of those are regular numbers that have no decimal places, they're just numbers. Those are rational because they have an endpoint. We know exactly how much one is. We know exactly how much 200 is. There's no ambiguity, and there are there is ambiguity in the other type, which is irrational. Um, another example of any rational number uh, is a fraction that can easily be turned into a decimal. Uh, an example would be one out of four, right? Uh, one quarter, as we know, that is the same as 0.25, and again, 0.25 ends, right? There's no more. One quarter is equal to 0.25 and no more after that. It's exactly 0.25. Um, essentially the key is that uh, any number that has a decimal that ends or repeats, that says or over there, you can't see that, that ends or repeats um, is a rational number. So 0.223, that is rational. Um, 0.11 repeating, that is rational. Um, any decimal that specifically ends or repeats. And if you're not sure what I mean by ends, um, I want you to punch a few different, uh, let's see if I can come up with one here on the fly. Let's do 43 divided by 61. You see how this decimal runs off the edge of the calculator. Uh, it keeps going and going forever. And when you get numbers like that, those are irrational numbers. So, an irrational number irrational numbers have decimals that don't end. So these have decimals that don't end. So these are awkward fractions, like the one I punched in, 43 out of 61 gives us a decimal of 0 0.7049180333, and there's more after that. So this is an irrational number, and this is an irrational fraction. It's something that we cannot have an endpoint of. It goes on forever and ever and ever. And you're gonna know that if it goes past the end of your calculator. Um, any number that is rational will stop here. For example, one divided by four equals 0.25, it stops. It does not run off the edge of the calculator. So these have decimals that don't end. I guess I can add up here, uh, runs off the end of your calculator. if you're allowed to use it. That will be decided at the time. Another example of an irrational number uh, is pi. Pi is 3.14159265.4, and then it does continue. I just can't remember anymore. But this is a number that goes on for thousands and thousands of decimal places, uh, and we have no idea what the end actually is. So pi is an irrational number. And as well, I'm gonna slide this up just a little. Yeah, that's fine. Um, any number that is under a root that isn't a perfect square. So for example, the root of 20 is an irrational number. We don't know exactly what that is. Uh, if we did that in our calculator, the decimal would go on forever. Uh, so uh, the root of 20 is an irrational number. Any number under a root sign. Um, if you guys do have any questions about that, please let me know. But the next uh, lesson, I believe, is classifying these things. If you guys have any questions, let me know.
Thanks so much for watching.